Once we've successfully exported our 3D project as an STL file, we're ready to import it into our MakerBot print application. In this example, we're importing it to the MakerBot print program that's configured to print to the MakerBot Replicator Mini. Some of you may be using the MakerBot Replicator 5th generation or the MakerBot Replicator Plus. If that's the case, your screen will look a little bit different. It should actually look like what you're seeing on the screen now. So for this example, I'm going to be using the MakerBot Replicator Mini setup. However, if you're using the Replicator 5th generation or Replicator Plus, the procedures are still the same. The first step is to insert the file of your 3D design. So I'm basically going to the File pull-down menu, choosing the Insert File option. Next, I'll choose the file I wish to insert. And now you see my 3D design is too big for the printer when it is inserted. There's a couple of ways to solve this dilemma. First, we want to choose on the Select an Object to Adjust and Scale icon. So first, after clicking on the Scale icon, you must click on the actual 3D design itself. And now that will give us some options for changing its size. One of our options is to click on the Scale to Max selection button. Another option would be to change the percentage values. In this case, I'm going to change the X percentage, but notice the uniform scaling option is chosen. So when I change the X scaling, it will also change the Y and Z scaling automatically. I'm going to try 75%. See how that looks. Sometimes after you scale it, you may have to move it and back onto the build plate. And apparently 75% was not small enough. I'm going to go with 65% and see how that looks. So 65% looks like it would be an okay size. And instead of adjusting it by a percentage, you can also change the millimeter values if you want it to be something exact. In this case, our 65% option gave us a, a millimeter value of 85.313 but if I want to make that exactly 85 millimeters I can type that in and notice that it changes the X and y, X Y and Z values because the uniform scaling option is still on you can also adjust the Y and Z values separately Let's uncheck the Uniform Scaling option. And again, let's make the Y factor something a little less precise than 46.952. Let's say we're going to make it exactly 45 millimeters. And let's change the Z value from 6.152 to exactly 6. And you should notice the size of your design changing to reflect the new values. Once you're happy with the dimensions of your design, you're ready to print it. If you have multiple printers available, you should have options to choose whichever printer you want to print it to. But once you've chosen the correct printer, it should be a matter of just clicking on the print button and it will start sending the file to the printer. It's going to ask you to make sure your build plate is clear and then just start the print. It may take a while for the uh, printer to heat up, the extruder to heat up. It should give you a time estimate of how long this will take. And hopefully at the end of this process you'll have a nice 3D print. Most of the newer MakerBot replicators have a built-in camera so you can return to this screen and actually see through the camera view how your print is progressing. There's also apps for your phone that will allow you to 
to view the progress of your print in the same manner. Thank you.